So in this video, we're going to see the need for the product and quotient rule. So we're given f of t equals 2t squared and g of t equals t cubed plus 4t. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the derivative of each of these. So we just have a power rule. So drop the power down, decrease it by 1. So the derivative of 2t squared is 4t. And for g prime of t, our derivative is 3t squared plus 4. Now what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to create a new function called p of t, which is f of t times g of t. So f of t times g of t is 2t squared times t cubed plus 4t. Now, what we're going to do is see what the derivative is of p. But to do that, I'm going to go ahead and distribute. So I've got 2t squared times t cubed is 2t to the fifth. And 2t squared times 4t is 8t cubed. So the derivative of p is going to be the derivative of this function here, which is going to be 10t to the fourth plus 24t squared. All right, so there's p prime of t. Now the question is whether or not this is equal to f prime of t times g prime of t. So 4t times 3t squared plus 4, which is what we found up here, which now if we distribute, we get 12t cubed plus 16t. These are clearly not equal. So what that's telling us is p prime of t is not equal to f prime of t times g prime of t. The significance of this is when we have a product, we can't just multiply their derivatives together. We can actually show the same thing for a quotient. So let's let q of t equal the quotient of two of these. How about t cubed plus 4t over 2t squared. So basically, I let q of t be g of t over f of t. So maybe let's make a note of that. g of t over f of t. And the question will be is whether or not this is e the derivative of q is equal to g prime of t over f prime of t. Well, to do this derivative, I'm going to split these two pieces up over 2t squared plus 4t over 2t squared and simplify. So I'm going to end up with t over 2 for this piece. And here I'm going to end up with plus 2 over t. I'm going to go one more step and rewrite those as power functions. t over 2 plus 2t to the minus 1. So I'm going to calculate q prime of t directly from here. Derivative of t over 2, well that's the same thing as 1 half t, is just 1 half because the derivative of t is 1. Derivative of this part, bring the negative down so it's going to become a minus 2 t to the negative 2 or 1 half minus 2 over t squared or if we wanted to give them a common denominator it'd be t squared minus 2 over minus 4, excuse me, over 2t squared. That's a 4 there. Now again, the question is whether or not this is equal to g prime of t over f prime of t. g prime of t is 3t squared plus 4. f prime of t is 4t. These are clearly not equal. So this does not equal so q prime of t does not equal 
g prime of t over f prime of t, even though q of t was g of t over f of t. Again, what this video shows is that we need a special rule when we have a product of two functions or a quotient of two functions. So those are respectively known as the product rule and the quotient rule.